Welcome to the Latin Wealth Podcast, a podcast dedicated to educating the Latino community about entrepreneurship, investing, and business. Yo, what's going on, Latin Wealth family? Welcome to another episode to the Latin Wealth Podcast. Super excited for you guys to be tuning in today because today we have some very important topics to be hitting on. Uh, number one, more Apple news, more news about Apple. Uh, Apple has is going through an antitrust fight right now that can threaten its search for the next big thing. And we talk about the next big thing. You know, AI is very big right now. So stay tuned as we talk about their antitrust fight. And we'll also be diving into uh, one of their competitors, Microsoft and their $100 billion AI supercomputer project, uh, which they are looking to invest more into. But before we jump into that, Jeremiah, how you doing today, bro? How you feeling? Feeling great, man. We got good topics. We got stuff that's going to give people some game. And hopefully we're, I don't know, we're rough with a couple feathers. Right. Yeah. The Apple lovers. I know you're Apple lovers, so we're going to go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and I'm like, man, we got to, I got to find like a, something positive about Apple, you know, to speak about because the last couple episodes, you know, it, it's been rough. It's been rough. It's been, it's been a rough couple months uh, for Apple. But, you know, with that being said, and by the way, there's some terms that I'm, we're going to mention throughout this episode. Um, DOJ means the Department of Justice. So if you ever hear me say that, instead of me saying that whole, Department of Justice, DOJ. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then, yes. Yeah, so with that being said, Apple's antitrust fight could threaten its search for the next big thing. The DOJ has uh, put out a lawsuit against Apple that can have some major consequences for the iPhone maker business segment, right? So essentially, if the DOJ wins, the company can be forced to give third-party companies greater access to the iPhone features, including Apple Wallet and improving uh, cap capabilities with competing devices and even allowing third-party apps on the iOS app store. All right, so you may be thinking like, why, why is this such a big deal? You know, there's a couple of things that we'll, we'll get into um, and it really could hurt the company's ability to capture the next wave of tech innovation. And we can look directly at Microsoft. So in the late 1990s, there was an antitrust a lawsuit against Microsoft that really gobbled up executives' resources and the costs uh, from the company. And it really took away their chances to dominate the phone market. And this was actually something that Bill Gates even came out and famously blamed um, and a distraction for, right? So- mm -hmm. Well, I say all to say, you know, you got these different lawsuits that are coming out against Apple and it could be a distraction for them. You know, they're, you know, they have to refocus on these lawsuits, you know, there's time, there's cost. And while they're dealing with these lawsuits, you got companies like Microsoft that are, and we'll talk about it, that are investing billions of dollars into the future of their company. So a lot going on with Apple. We're going to dive into it today. What are your what are your thoughts about this, Jeremiah, and everything that's going on with Apple? It seems like history is repeating itself. Um, yep. I, I was like um, going into I think I was going into like ninth grade or something like that when that was happening with telling my age, but when that was happening with um, Microsoft, and it's just kind of weird because I was sitting here and I was thinking about it that the way that that actually happened created the seeds um, that became the tree, the very strong tree that is Apple. So yeah. without that happening to Microsoft, Microsoft would have dominated every single technology-based um, interval or income stream. They would have probably come out with a phone. They would have like, it would have been completely Microsoft all the way across the uh, It would have been a different world. Yeah, it would have been a completely different world. And it's just funny that the exact same thing mm -hmm. that at that point Jobs and those people were fighting against, right? The 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 monopoly that they were calling what, what Microsoft was, Job is no longer here, but that's what Apple became. And we always talk about that, right? That bully mentality that they took over as the Microsoft, the new Microsoft, mm -hmm. right? They took over as that number one company. They're not now, but they were, right, for the longest period of time. And so 
when I'm listening to this, I also think about um, the allowance of third party people going onto the mm -hmm. Apple store and actually being able to infiltrate that system that's been Mac only for the longest time. Yeah. Right. We've just got into recent years where Macs could or were compatible with PC type programming and software, mm -hmm. you know, because for the longest time you had to use things that were strictly Mac. So that it's like all these different monopolies are these things that would allow Apple to not only create additional income streams off subscriptions or additional money. Right. Because you had to pay for certain um, to, to integrate stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Now that's going to be cut. And with them focusing on that, it, it's like a control, which was the money that was just guaranteed to come in from these set income streams. Now that's up, that's up in question. Mm -hmm. And so now you have to focus on recovering the money that you lost from those subscription and from those things that you just normally it's, it's a given. And so you, like you said, you don't have the energy to actually focus in on creating new things. That's, I think these lawsuits are the reason why they scrapped the Apple car. Right. I, I think it's why they rushed on on the vision headset. And, you know, and we saw, of course, Zuckerberg destroyed that. <laughs> it was it was epic, like literally just destroyed him. And it was all true. It wasn't even lies. It wasn't slander. It was all true. And people find it like, yeah, it's, what he's saying is true. So it's like um, Apple's in a Apple's in a tough place, man. Mm -hmm. Not only did they lose number one market cap um, yeah, yeah. and video, they keep growing though. They might do something crazy, overtake, which is crazy, right? But um, and they lost it to Microsoft, which is just funny, right? Because the the whole mm -hmm. it comes back again, and so it's just it's it's weird to me that it kind of has had this flip. But I think Apple's in a very they're in they're at a fork in the road, and if they don't make the right decision, I think mm -hmm. will they be will they die or no? Of course not, but. Mm -hmm. Will they be as dominant? Will they be that force that they've been? No, they won't. Um, and you've seen how in other instances, look at Tesla right now. Some of Elon's decisions and his his comments and interviews and things that are happening are costing the company positions. And so Apple's going to have to make some very wise decisions. Um, I don't think they've been making wise decisions lately. That's just that. That's my take on what that how that the layers of what that is. Yeah, no, um, you know, I I remember this quote by Nipsey Hupsel in, in one of his songs. He said, you know, at the end of the song, he was like, big companies are going to fall, big companies are going to crumble, right? And new ones are going to rise up. And it's it's interesting because in my, my time, I haven't seen a big company crumble and fall. And I'm not suggesting Apple is going to be that company. But like you said, we, we're looking at these companies, Microsoft and Apple, and for the average person listening, they're probably like, oh, these companies will never fall. You know, why, why is it such a big deal that they're getting lawsuits? They got all this money, right? That's probably what people are thinking. But you got to look at it like this. You got to look at it as if you had a, a business yourself right. and there's lawsuits coming at you left and right. And not only are you trying to deal with these lawsuits, but you're trying to actually grow the company and keep it, you know, keep profitable. it afloat. Innovative. Yes. Profitable, innovative, right? Um, so, yeah, man, to me, it's just like all these stories that are coming out. It's just, again, I'm not suggesting that Apple is going to be the one to fall. I mean, <laughs> but there's like Microsoft you said, didn't it, fall. Microsoft didn't fall. Right. right I mean, right. nobody's they came out with the Xbox, which saved their like probably literally saved Microsoft's yeah. entire company. That was a big deal. But yeah, 100 percent. Right? I was going to say uh, the fork in the road. It's like, look. A few bad decisions can really cost a lot, a lot, and it has it has cost them a lot. I agree. I think the focus um, and they're super uber focused on China um, instead of maybe focusing more on India, which is vastly becoming the place you want to invest. Mm -hmm. um, India will be like. The twenty, the twenty twenties. It was going to be the twenty twenties version of Abu Dhabi, what it was in the two thousands, the two thousand late two thousand to two thousand teens, right? It's what Abu Dhabi, UAE became, mm -hmm. right? Everybody wants to go to Dubai and uh, right. So I think India is going to be that that way. And Apple was like super aligned with China. I think they've been trying to get some stuff working with with India, but I'm just showing these are just decisions, right? That you make 
and it costs you in a in a you know holistic sense. A hundred percent. And so we also mentioned that uh, WWDC, uh, which is the Apple's developers conference, is going to be in June. And essentially, all this is is that they announce new. Sometimes they announce new products, but usually they announce new softwares, new innovations that they're going to be adding to the company. And everybody is expecting that they're going to announce something that is AI related. Um, during that time so it's going to be very interesting to see you know what happens or what leaks come out um, from now and then and of course we'll, we'll definitely cover it on here um and really you know it seems like wait, we'll see but it, it seems like apple is going to continue to develop uh the vision pro and you know um hopefully you know <laughs> reach a new market with that or, or something it's gonna be interesting to see what they what do you, they do do you think it. that's the way they should go i think they should pivot i i don't believe that's the way they should go i think they've lost that battle already you need to concede and just accept that l it's a big l but you i think you should just i mean i think if they do decide to go down that path it has to be priced a lot lower you got to bring that price a lot lower than what it already is because it's the average person i, I think the average person is not even buying vr headsets as it is but you priced something at what was it thirty five hundred dollars? Mm -hmm. I I mean I'm I'm gonna be a millionaire and I'm not buying it. I'm just keeping it real. I I mean I don't buy y'all. Be like, well, you don't buy Apple anyway. No, I don't. But I I I don't see Apple people buying that. Like I've talked to Apple people. Chris is an Apple person. There's mm -hmm. Apple people that are like, bro, no, there's not. Mm -hmm. I'm just not doing that. And. Like I said, I think they should pivot. I think they should just let that kind of like the car. They should just let that mm -hmm. drop. It's it's not going to be a win. Meta's already infiltrated. Meta's got relationships and partnerships with YouTube. Like it's mm -hmm. this is this is a chess game. So the same game that like you know chess is playing. Like this overall, Microsoft and Apple have been doing this dance back and forth for forty years now, 40, 50 years since Bill and and Jobs split. Right then it's it's the same thing on this so side. What do you now. think they what do you think they would what do you think they should pivot into? Um they should think they, they should pivot into health. The data stream that they have from so many iPhone users allows them to be in a key position for um uh, for health, for a bio biomed. That's what they should shift into. The Apple Watch, maybe mm -hmm. it becomes you put a transistor or a sensor on the back of it and it can track your Sugar levels, your heart rate, your blah blah blah. I'm just giving, just giving game. I think, and they already got the data. Yeah, and I think, I think when you sleep, when you like, they already got all that. So I think that should that, yeah. be the the way that they should move. That would be much more beneficial for them. Leave the headset alone. You've lost. It's a, it's an L. You 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 can't recover from that because you'll try to come back now, and and Mark's going to destroy you again because he's just going to say you took his information and redid it. You actually watched his video and you did what he told you to do. So he's still going to win. You you lost that. It's a it's a L. Mm. It, it, hey, it, no, I'm just saying because Zuckerberg was in the same position. Remember, he was in court in Congress mm. for uh, data infringement and that, like he was going through it and he took he took it on the chin and he doubled down and and when he really went in his bag for strategy and so Apple's got to do the same thing like. Take your L's, take it on the chin, and I think biomed health is where the way you should go, and it would do great. Them linked with like and like a partnership with EY Lilly, or some company, or Johnson and Johnson, or something like that, it would that would they would kill it. I think that's the space you should go into. Hmm. Yep, it's gonna be very interesting to see what Apple does the next couple of years, right? So. With that being said, one company that's making some big moves and some, some big plays is Microsoft has a project that's worth over $100 billion to build an AI supercomputer. So Microsoft and OpenAI are planning an unprecedented supercomputer that uses millions of specialized server chips and can cost up to $100 billion, all right? So this supercomputer is going to be known as Stargate and... Yeah, it's it's uh it's I think it's planned to be rolled out in 2028 if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, but yeah, very, very interesting stuff. And the reason why they're doing it is because they want to continue to plan for the next generation in infrastructure and innovation for the frontier of AI ca capabilities. So look, we talk about AI, we've been talking about AI a lot, but Man. this is, this is why you got companies that are spending a hundred billion dollars into the future of AI that has to Success leaves clues. We, have you guys heard it's, that before? Success yeah, leaves clues. Follow sure. what where the money is going, what these big companies are doing. So if they're putting everything into, I wouldn't say everything, but if they're putting a lot of money into AI, maybe that's something that we should be learning about and doing some research on. I agree. I feel like, you know, the next wave of coders, coders were the previous generation, our generation, right, to become a coder. Now, like I said, prompt engineering is the, is the space. How do you control AI, right? What are the new uses? What new usage base can you create for, right? What what this what this is morphing into? I laughed because when you said Stargate, I mean, I used to watch the show Stargate, but I really think it's more like, this seems more like Skynet to me. And I'm not trying to like fear monk. I'm just saying, you look at Terminator and this is kind of where it, it started. Now, I'm not saying that's where it's going to go and all that's, it's a movie. I'm just saying it's it's crazy how mm -hmm. the movies are actually happening in real life, right? Pieces of it, like creating this supercomputer that could control all this stuff. It, if it has that many chips in it, it's going to be, I can't even imagine what this thing can do. It probably, I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I don't, we haven't even scratched the surface of what this uh, AI yeah. stuff could do. And and I was doing a little research on this, and they're like, something that the, the current AI platforms that they don't do is they don't, this is what he literally, literally said, they don't take the time to think. So if you give these AI platforms the ability to sit there and think about what answers they're going to put out, just imagine how much more powerful of data and information they can spit back at you. And I'm like, dang. It's wild, man. That's I'm, like that's like thinking like a human. <laughs> I no, it, it it's not life. That's what it is. It is. It is exactly what it is. And the crazy, scary thing is, I think these guys are two to three years ahead of what they release. Mm -hmm. They got to be. So, you know, for me, it's like this isn't just an idea that just came out. No, they've been working. You on know, this. they've been working on this. This is this has been which is nuts. And high tides. You know, it rises, it, it raises all ships, right? So what that means is, you know, if AI is steadily growing, that's why NVIDIA, you know, did, what was it? 200 billion or something crazy in a day, like market cap increase. Like these are, this is stuff you've never seen before and it's not stopping. And I don't, and like, I keep hearing people talking about it's just a fad and mm -mm. it reminds me of people when they said the internet was a fad. Mm. I remember there's actual news shows and all this stuff. Well, they were like, what is this dot com stuff? Like, it's not going to stick around. This is a fad that's just da -da -da -da. you saw where that got us. So it's time to start studying. It's time to start realizing where you can fit in. Where can I invest? Right. How can I? Oh, it's taking jobs. OK, how could I utilize it to create new economy, like new jobs, new companies, new things that I can cultivate using this technology? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's really kind of like no limits. I think you posted something recently that I think it was you. A job was offering over three hundred thousand dollars. Yes. Yeah. To be in the the AI space or something like that, right. a salary sure. of three hundred thousand. That's how important it is. That's how important it is. And and probably like a year ago, I told you I posted something um, on my Instagram, and I told people about prompt engineering, and everybody laughed. They're like, "There's no way people would pay for that." Mm -hmm. And I'm like, mm -hmm. "We'll see." A year later, three hundred k. Mm -hmm. it's 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 happening it's definitely happening I, it's it's microsoft has been ahead of the game anyway um i don't know i don't want to say checkmate but man yeah, and i'm man. saying for apple it's it's yeah. pretty close they got it's close it's getting rough man they're gonna have to come with something because it might i don't I'm know telling you that 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 june they gonna have to come with something they gotta big. come with something man if it if it Man, if it's not there, if they don't deliver, expect shares to fall, man. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's holding Apple up right now is the expectation of that June release. Mm -hmm. It better come with something. If they don't come with something, it's, it might get pretty ugly and it might be checkmate. I don't know if you can regain a uh, position 
on Microsoft when they're basically integrated with NVIDIA's Rise or mm -hmm. they're integrated with OpenAI. Like, I don't know if you can overtake that again because AI is just continuing to grow and be more profitable. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's tough. My last thing about this is I would love to be in the room when they're in the inception of AI. Like, when did they start even thinking about this, right? Like, we mentioned... They've been working on this. So, like, what was this a thought and idea back in 2012, 2010? Like, yo, we need to start thinking about AI and developing. I mean, I, AI's I been know. around. I don't want to get into like conspirative thought patterns and things like that. I'll just tell you, I think that I think that the government's been if we if with their hand and their involvement, because what you see in the consumer market but is even a, with the government, when did they start? When do you think they started thinking about this? 60s, 70s. Hmm. I think there's things that'll be revealed. I mean, they, there's, y'all gonna call me crazy, but they've actually released it. They literally said from the CIA, like there's aliens, like they, they, the, the people told you like, Hey, yeah, there's, mm -hmm. I mean, that shouldn't be no surprise for people. You're like, Oh, you, here you go tripping. I'm like, no, really, you can look it up. They literally, they now say you're getting that. deep. Now you're getting deep. No, 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 no. I mean, no, no, no. no. I hear you though. I'm not trying to get deep. I'm saying, just go look it up. Just go look up stuff like they, the people like, the government says things and puts out actual posts and news and people don't pay attention because you're looking at other things. You're distracted by stuff. But what I'm saying is, is understand that the government's been working on AI for like 40, 50 years. What you're getting now is like third generation stuff that's already consumer. The consumer market is never the first to get stuff. It's always the government. And if you don't understand that, then that's, hey, I, I hear you. But yeah. Well, look, a lot of interesting information, a lot of stuff to ponder about and dig into, right? So definitely a great episode. And as always, you know, we want to come on here and give you guys information so you guys can do your due diligence with and, you know, make your own sound decisions based on this information, right? And we're always doing it from, you know, a Latino's perspective, right? We, we always want to get go back to that. And we're doing this for our community because there's not very many platforms. I don't really know too many that are doing it as consistently as, as us, number one, and that are doing it for us, right? So, and, you know, that's, that's I'm saying that from someone that's in the media space. And I observe what other people, what other type of content people make. And there's not, I can't name somebody else. Maybe I can, but I won't. <laughs> um, yeah, well, anyways. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, <laughs> go ahead and share this episode with one other person that can benefit from this episode or the Latin Wealth platform. And as always, we will catch you guys next week. Peace. Peace, guys.